dad told me once, a good VFX frame lasts a moment, but a good story lasts a lifetime. One of the perks about working in Unreal Engine or just in 2022 is that it's just so much more easier to prove what your intentions are as a storyteller. I've seen businessmen driven mad by power, believing themselves to be gods amongst men. With Rococo, we're so much more adaptable. We don't need to set up a giant studio as a director. I also use it to kind of pre my own cutscenes because it's so easy. I like the idea of a really easy solution to get me 70% of my animation. We want to try and bring the indie mentality in Denmark to become the AAA mentality as well. Give me back my grip! My name is Mark Bonsak Iverson, and I'm the creative director and one of the co-founders here at Edaheim. My name is William Reed Jensen, and I'm the managing director of Edaheim and the co-founder as well. We are currently working on a uh, flagship title called Neon Knights Humanity Erased. The secret you shows? Helena is dead. Essentially, I think one of the big, easiest way we can kind of explain it, it's like, it's like Deckard from Blade Runner handcuffed to the girl with a dragon tattoo. What is life about and what is death really about? It was essentially just after our midterm project, I had an idea for this uh, cyber Nordic noir. In February in Copenhagen, we have like the light festival. It kind of sparked this interest about what would a neo Copenhagen actually look like. The first thing we worked on was this 30 second short based in the Neonites world. And um, I needed a character. So my producer suggested, why don't we just call Lars? And it was basically, can you do that? And I was like, yeah, let's just call him. And we called him and pitched him the Neon Knights project and talked to him about being in a motion capture suit. And he's a very, very forward thinker. So um, he was in. What's it called? He loves the engine. He loves video games. And he likes the character. Because it's like, you know, we, we turn. We showed that off to a bunch of students and other people who are interested and said, look at what we did. We were three people in three weeks. Imagine what we could do together in six months. So we accumulated the team, and then William and I basically ran that team until we made the, our visual benchmark. Huh? And that leads us to where we are now, which is our vertical slice. It's a very narrow part of, the, of what will be like a more complete experience later. I just got called up by Mark and William, the founders. They were looking for a character artist since they, they had made their visual benchmark and they were looking to start on a vertical slice for this project. Nick Gates is our main character. He's the detective in this sort of dark and mysterious world. The transcender is essentially our digital exorcist. The, the old detective who has like the dark sides that he kind of struggle with. Does his ideas of this world even really match with how the real world is? He doesn't really believe that the digital avatars are real. You're nothing more than data. He had to deal with his daughter transcending. I wouldn't necessarily call him an anti-hero, but he's not too far off. In the story right now, Nick, who Lars Mikkelsen plays, is tasked to hunt down a bunch of rogue transcends. These are what these digital spirits are called. A secondary plot follows Isak, Maria Wintenorkel. Basically, in the inciting incident, what happens is that Nick and Isak's their consciousness merge. I guide us home and you're drunk off your ass. I live through every shitty memory and nightmare you have. And she is trying to find the shards of her seemingly dead sister in the cloud, which is the new internet. Essentially what we do is we have the scene with the actors in, and we are recording face, body, and motion, camera motion, uh, and audio. And all these things must be recorded separately, raw, but at the same time recorded directly into Unreal Engine. So that when we're done with our shot, it's already in Unreal and we can we have a cutscene already, we can just trick her. Working with talent, it hasn't been like they just find it interesting. Like after a while they forget they're in suits and they're more focused on their performances with each other. We really test the suits hard. <laughs> they were used, uh, you know, for seven hours all the time for three days straight. They worked all the way through, recorded a whole bunch. We recorded the 20-page manuscript on that two days. 
and then also had two hours of extra takes. Working with Talon with a really tight schedule with someone like Lars Mugelson, who has a lot of other projects to do, to get what we need out of the two days he has available with us is unheard of for anything in animation. With Rococo, it's possible. Christ, Gates. Took you long enough. But the technology that we use is supposed to empower our storytelling. When the Super 8 came out, everyone had it. It was so accessible. Then there was this one little kid that had a little bit of a dream and it, you know, Steven Spielberg was that kid, right? And he, he told stories through that, through that Super 8. So it's not the fact that it's accessible, it's about who is using it to tell stories. Hey, should we open the nose, kid? We are a relatively small team, I guess. We kind of want to do everything that we can do and keep growing. I have this philosophy, which is called dream big, think small. What is your ultimate goal you want to create? And what's the first and smallest step to get there? One of our biggest advantages being small is that we're super agile. We're able to do quick pivots. Towards our goal, which is telling amazing stories. It came from Cars. I adapted the quote. She says, think small or not at all. <laughs> at least to me, it's always very fun like working with a game. I think it's, uh, it's really nice to see the direction that film and video games are moving in. I really like it. Grab uh, Rococo. It's so easy. So put the suit on, put in, get in this office, and then just do a, a performance and export it out. It's amazing that you uh, get to those magic numbers, say uh, 80%, like you have the weight, you have the timing, the position compared to the characters. Whatever's in there has nothing to do with it. Over time, when you see like things change and improve and like coming together at the end. Honestly, it's actually kind of mind-blowing. <laughs> It's just, it's just, it is nice. Yeah, I'm having lots of fun. This is definitely gonna be very exciting times.